Hey dudes, welcome to day 15 of morphology. We are going to keep working with suffix s and suffix es, but today we're going to do morphemic analysis with them. So here we have the front of our virtual index card. Do you remember what suffix s and suffix es mean when they're added to nouns? Right, more than one. And you can see in my little drawing that I have four dots here to symbolize more than one. So we're going to practice this suffix with some Anglo-Saxon bases so you get to understand how morphemic analysis works with suffixes. All right, so our first morpheme is dog. This is just one morpheme. We know that dog is an Anglo-Saxon morpheme. We also know what a dog is. Now we've added our suffix s. And remember when I told you way, way back that morphemes can be just, more, can be just one letter? This is an example of that. Remember that suffix s and suffix es mean more than one when we are talking about nouns. So the morphemic analysis of dogs is more than one dog. So now down here I have two dogs, but it could be three dogs, 10 dogs, or a million dogs. It just means more than one. So here's our next one, house. House is an Anglo-Saxon morpheme and we tend to know what a house is. Now we've added our suffix es, and we know that it's a suffix es and not a suffix s, because house ends in a s sound. And if we remember our rules from yesterday, or the last video, when words end in a s sound, they need that extra syllable. So it's a suffix es. So now we need to do the morphemic analysis of houses. We know that our suffix means more than one. So the morphemic analysis of houses is more than one house. And as you can see in our picture, there are four houses, which is more than one. So here's the last piece where we're gonna practice with today, cat. Cat is an Anglo-Saxon morpheme, and we tend to know what a cat is. Now we've added the suffix s. So what is the morphemic analysis of cats? Good, more than one cat. All right guys, I hope you're able to follow along with me in this video. And the next one we're gonna keep practicing. See you later.